Hi, welcome back to this uh, tutorial on data visualization with our program. Let's use a library, one of the most popular libraries called Leaflet. You can download Leaflet R, which is a, a great package by uh, installing the package from the website of Leaflet R. There's another library called RGDAL, and uh, uh, we use another library called RGOS for simplification and uh, another SP library for uh, data visualization. So these four libraries are being used right now and we will be using also a particular data set from the US uh, census website and that's located here census.gov particularly at county underscore 20 which is a zip file containing lots of information uh, under the tiger files. So inside this tiger file zip uh, there are lots of uh, shape files SHP, SHX, PRJ project and DBF which is a database file. So this URL uh, is used to import the data set. Uh, leaflet package, R package is actually a, a very very advantageous uh, package and uh, it's built on top of the open source JavaScript library called uh, leaflet. So our download directory is this path which is uh, C users and under documents I have uh, a particular research and here this data set is going to be imported and unzipped also. Okay, So we are trying to represent the population uh, into 2010 in only New York uh, County. So we are going to graphically represent that. So this is the uh, path. Leaflet R provides web mapping functionality and styling options only. Okay, so an internet connection is definitely required. And uh, this is where we are going to download. Uh, the download directory is uh, C. I have changed it from the earlier one to this one. Just to make it simple, to under C drive it's R uh, programming. And uh, the destination name after it is imported or downloaded from the URL is going to be called as tiger.zip file. Now I'm going to download this file. It's going to take some time to download the 78 uh, MB file from the website. So directly you can um, download and rename the file as tiger.zip. So leaflet R features open base map tiles and map data is provided by the OpenStreetMap uh, project. And here you can see it's a downloaded uh, 77.7 MB. Um, you will also see in the result that the satellite images are provided by NASA, JPL, Caltech and US Department of, of uh, Agriculture. So we are now unzipping it in and exporting into the directory which is the same as uh, download directory. If you go into the folder you can see all the unzipped files which is SHX, SHP and so on. So it's a list function for the file name ending with .shp and uh, we are creating a subfile and trying to read it now um, using the uh, command called read OGR. So it takes about one minute and it downloads everything into that R programming drive with about 195 fields. So ESRA is the company name um, and they specialize in GIS, Geographic Information Systems. There are a lot of certifications allowed uh, given by ESRA. So I'm going to create a subdat file with a substring and GeoID 10 for New York County only. And then I'm going to transform it using the SP transform. And uh, I'm going to transform it to the EPSG 4326 format, uh, which is uh, the World Geodetic System. You can look at it uh, more. We use it for the projection uh, information. So I'm going to change the name of the field uh, that, uh, that we're going to map to population and uh, from here we will again uh, reuse the name population GeoID 10 uh, now to simplify now we have saved the data slot and I have tried to simplify it which yields spatial polygons class which is gsimplify that we have used earlier so we have to use spatial polygons data frame and uh, then finally you're going to create the GeoJSON file We'll create the cuts we want for the map and then create the leaflet map. Now we're going to write it and create a GeoJSON file. It's going to be a, a, a decent file. GeoJSON or you can also have a TopoJSON file. 
so we create the cuts with the quantiles uh, only for the uh, New York County uh, that's GOID 10 and name of it is population the style grad is a specific function used only in uh, leaflet R and not in uh, leaflet so we're going to use a pop-up to uh, create an index HTML which will then open up the browser your default browser with the maps there so we're using style grad that is used only for a leaflet R with the width the heat map the population of 2010 and the with the right cuts with the line width as a one and after this you're going to create the map and load it into the browser so we again use the leaflet package with leave date, leave dat as the data. Destination remains the same. The style is what we have created earlier. That sty. The title is going to be index because when you double click on index.html, it will open the browser there for you. Now, once you do this, uh, you can look at the, all the functions there. Uh, DP GOID 10 and finally we have this map that we want to create and load into the browser so now your leaflet map is saved under this C drive in our programming with index.html uh, I'm going to refresh you'll see our programming folder inside that there's an index uh, folder double click and you'll see index.html if you double click that particular file it will open the map in the browser. You can also type in browse URL and pass the parameter of map then it opens up uh, this particular image in a new browser that's your default browser where you can see the population of 2010 ranging from 0 to a particular number there are about few ranges there on the right bottom side which are mapped here. Here you can also see the information of the GeoID and the particular population at uh, in that particular year. Okay. The leaflet R package is a handy way for R program users to create online maps uh, very very quickly. Um, you can upload this index HTML uh, to GitHub as a GIST, or you can uh, upload it to a web server. So it's a very very handy tool where you can create interactive online maps using this leaflet package. Thank you and have a great day.